Active transport. This involves the movement of substances e.g. amino acids across the cell membrane against a concentration gradient. Diffusion and osmosis don't account for movement of substances in and out of the cells hence a mechanism that would move them into the cells against the concentration gradient would be useful and that's where active transport comes in. NB. Active transport requires a lot of energy. It's postulated that, active transport involves protein carrier molecules on the cell membrane that aid in the moving of these substances across the cell membrane. These carriers combine with the substances being transported across the cell membrane and then move them from one side of the membrane to the other. NB. Cellular intake of solutes is largely through active transport.